In this video, we will be going over TS Agent, Forti Authenticator, and FortiGate integrations. So this video will be a little bit more of an add-on to an existing concept that, that we should already be aware of, which is uh, Fortinet Single Sign-On, or FSSO, and a DC Agent integration. So I've linked that suggested video. It might be worth checking that out to see what we're trying to achieve when we have FSSO, um, what a DC Agent is. And then in this video, we're just going to jump into the configuration once we compare TS Agent versus DC Agent. Starting with DC Agent, we log into a machine. FortiGate gets that information through Forti Authenticator. There we go. We can see the user M Jones. We have show FSSO logins selected at the top right corner. Now on that same machine, we log in with Jay Smith. Let's go back to our FortiGate. We'll refresh. Okay, we saw that Mary Jones got overwritten by John Smith. And that's expected behavior, right? And often this is actually the end functionality that we're looking to achieve. But let's consider a different scenario. So let's say that the the actual machine that the users are logging on to is something more like maybe it's a terminal server or an RDS environment. Well, in that case, we might want to have our firewall um, be aware and be able to differentiate between these different users authenticated to the exact same server, right? So how we can do that is we can install a TS agent onto that terminal server or RDS machine, and then the end functionality would be that the TS agent, it has ties into the Windows environment, so it can actually control and say pretty much any user that authenticates, they get X amount of allocated ports. As an example, they can get a thousand ports allocated to that end user. So in this case, um, you know, source ports 1001 to 2000 are associated with John Smith, and then the next person that logs in is Mary Smith, who gets allocated ports 2001 to 3000. Right? So since the TS agent is actually controlling who gets which ports, the TS agent is also the one that's able to share that information with our pretty much our authentication broker, the Forti Authenticator, who then in turn shares that information with the FortiGate. So if the FortiGate can be aware of the source ports that are allocated to that terminal server or RDS machine, that's the goal that we're looking for um, so that we can still achieve the same FSSO functionality that we would have if we only had something like DC Agent configured. And, and just a note here is that, you know, we'll be using just a thousand source ports here, but, you know, Consider that if you are doing this in maybe a production environment, you might want to have a much larger source port range. A thousand ports can get eaten up pretty quickly. Um, but again, yeah, we're just doing this for to show the concept and to show this in, in a bit of a lab environment. So let's go to support.fortinet.com, support, downloads, firmware download. Go to FortiGate as the product. We'll go download. I'm just selecting with whatever the latest and greatest version is that we have right now. Go down that path, click the FSSO option, and then we'll just pick one of these 64-bit uh, TS agent setup files. So we'll just get the executable. Okay, and then we'll start the installation on our RDS or our terminal server machine. In my case, I'm just using a Windows workstation. It really doesn't matter what kind of Windows machine that you're going to use this for. Um, it's just more, I'd say it's more geared towards a terminal server or an RDS machine or environment. Okay, so we select whatever this host IP address is going to be, so the IP of this machine, and then we'll type in the FSSO collector agent list. Um, in our case, this is going to be the 40 authenticator, 192.168.111.100 is my authenticator's IP, and then we'll install. Okay, we're done there. Okay, and after install, let's open up the TS agent config utility. We'll run it as the administrator. Okay, now we see the configuration here. So we see this machine's IP address. We see the 40 Authenticator's IP where we're sending the login events to. Um, we can see the the pool of ports that we're going to allocate to the end of end users, uh, and then we see the number of ports per allocation. So let's up that to a thousand, and then we'll save that configuration. 
Now on the 40th indicator, just to review the SSO configuration, I haven't actually changed anything from our DC agent video. We just have enabled DC TS agents clients enabled. We're listening on port 8002. Um, and then we also have our 40 gate communication configured as per the other video as well. So if I go to monitor DC TS agents, we can see here, we can see our TS agent on the machine that we were just on, 192.168.111.9. All right, and now on the same machine, when we log in with John Smith, then we can move over to the 40 authenticator, refresh, and we'll notice that there's a source of TS agent with John's user groups, um, the username, the source IP of the machine that John logged on to, as well as we can actually see 1,000 ports that have been allocated to John. So if we go back to that same machine, and, it's, and let's not sign out entirely, what we'll do is we'll go switch user, and then we'll log in with Mary Jones. And back to the 40 authenticator, we now see that Mary Jones is logged in via TS agent. We also see the thousand source ports that are allocated to the same machine again that John Smith is logged into. So right now we have two entries, one for Mary Jones uh, with a port range and then one for John Smith with a port range, both logged into the same machine. Now when we go to our FortiGate, we can see um, you know, we can see the, a similar entry that we would when we, if we had DC agent enabled. The only difference here is that for John Smith and Mary Jones, when we've received these authentication logins from TS agent versus the DC agent, we'll notice that the method shows us FSSO Citrix as expected from the TS agent logins. We see another one from a different machine with John Smith, um, and that's coming in from a DC agent. But We'll just focus on these two for now. So, you know, we can't actually see those source port ranges via the GUI um, per this firmware. I believe it's 7.0.4. Uh, but then, you know, we can still see it in the CLI if we went diagnose firewall auth list. And then we can see those FSSO Citrix login events. And here we go. So we see the port range for both of those sources or should I say for the users so looking back to our firewall policies um, you know where we're gonna have Mary's traffic who's Mary again part of a marketing user group um, associated with firewall policy ID number two and then John Smith as part of the IT user group firewall policy number three um, you know if we look at some of the recent logs we're gonna see the same um, as we would with DC agent so you know, Mary Jones's traffic is is matching firewall policy two as expected. Uh, let's see if we find John Smith. John Smith's traffic is matching firewall policy three as expected. All right, so that wraps up this video on TS Agent, Forty Authenticator, and Forty Gate integrations. Uh, thanks everyone for joining in, and we'll see you in the next video.